Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, I'm gonna make a deal with you. I tried to record this, and then after like 20 minutes into the video, I was only done with like five cards. There are way too many cards here to actually go over. So, I'm just gonna mention all of the kind of ones in passing, and we're gonna focus on two cards for this video. I'm just gonna mention all of them because it is a data download, so it is the furthest JP data download that just happened. Um, so, I'm gonna go into those. I will be saving all the other cards when we get official translations, so that way I can actually give accurate information without screwing things up. Uh, and prevent the video from going too long. So let's go ahead and talk about it. I'm going to go mention all of the small ones real quick, just so we can talk about them, and then we'll go into the Super Saiyan 3, Goku, the new LR, and the Agility Tapion, because those are the two that I actually have translations for, uh, plus to keep the video short. So first one is we have this SR Trunks. Don't know if he's going to be available from the event or if he's going to be available from the banner. He Doken Awakens with medals from it looks like the Tapion event. Uh, 10 of each metal. Going to be pretty legit. Hidoken Awakens into this Tech Trunks. Pretty legit. He looks pretty cool. I like the card art. Um, he looks like he's going to be a tech, some type of a tech leader. HP, tech, and defense was 40% up. So that's cool. I think that he's going to be a banner exclusive because of that leader ability. Because you really don't get something like that uh, from like an actual event. Plus his passive skill is going to be attack plus 50% up. And something else. So I don't know what the heck that is. Anyway, um, he's a pretty cool unit. I like him. He is going to be available, so keep that in mind. You know, know about that. The other one is going to be this Tapion Aloof Warrior or something like that. Aloof of Brave or whatever the heck this is. It looks like he's going to be a super tech leader. He Dokun Awakens with 35 Harutagon medals, which looks like it's going to be an explicit Dokun event. He Dokun Awakens into this guy, who is actually looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. Um... He is definitely a super type leader. He is a super technique type leader. HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Not really that great, but if you don't have a tech leader, he's definitely going to be awesome for you. Um, let's see. He looks like he gives himself an attack and defense buff of 80%. I don't know what that rest of his passive actually means, but he is a key orb manipulator. He changes strength to rainbow, so he's going to be pretty awesome. Also, guys, one thing I want to state about that tech Tapion, because he changes strength to rainbow, he's going to be really good for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. You want those uh, the orb change manipulators to rainbow for that tech Goku, so that way he can get off additional attack buffs. I uh, just wanted to make sure I, I stated that, because I don't think I mentioned that in my last recording, and I want I realized that. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is the Physical Tapion. We have the Physical Tapion that's also available. I know, again, I don't know which one's which. I don't know which one's going to be available from the event. I think the Tapion Aloof Brave Warrior, whatever the heck this is, that one is probably going to be available from the event. And this one's probably going to be available on the banner. One of them should be banner, one of them should be event, I don't know. Uh, regardless, uh, we have one of them over here. This one, it looks like he goes, he's going to be a physical type leader. He doesn't have a Doken Awakening. He lowers attack, and he gives himself his own attack plus 40% up. Um, and when HP is 80% or more, uh, it's something polar system attack defense 20% down. Maybe when he attacks the enemy, that goes down. Regardless, looks a legit unit. I think this is this may be the one from the event, just because it doesn't seem overwhelming. Um, we also have Minosia. I think this is uh, Tapion's brother. So attack plus uh, attack 25% of enemies with skill attributes down. So I'm assuming that means uh, skill attributes down. That's probably going to be technique attribute. <clears throat> that kind of would make sense. Uh, one turn attack greatly rises, giving oversized damage. Uh, legit unit, further reduced damage by 40% when guard is decided, when guard is active. So, he's awesome. He's going to be a really cool unit to have, and I'm pretty sure he has some, yeah, he has some decent link skills that link well with Tapion. Uh, we also have Hui, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, it looks like HP attack plus 30% up with speed and power attributes, so he's kind of a dual leader. Uh, I think he's probably going to give extreme damage, and he has medium chance to stun the enemy, so that's pretty awesome. Polar friendly ally to key attack uh, and defense plus 20% up. So I guess that means if it's polar friendly, which means I guess uh, super or extreme types, attack and defense plus 20% up, who knows? Uh, regardless, who cares? Then we have the two Saiyan men. The two Saiyan men are going to be available in this data download as well. Super, uh, su supreme damage to the enemy and increases attack for three turns, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if we have it. It doesn't tell us the exact uh, calculations for how much it goes up. Uh, but it's legit, and he gives his own attack plus 40%, and attack plus 20 of all allies super up. So he is a buff for all super allies, which is legit. Uh, then we got my waifu, Videl, over here. Great same man, too. Uh, two key and eight attack plus 30% up. Extraordinary damage, so she's going to be supreme damage, and lowers attack. Legit, like that. Her own defense is 60% up, and defense plus 40% for all allies. That's actually really awesome. 
Um, that's a real nice defensive buff for everyone. She's going to do really well on a physical... Um, at least for a defensive for the defensive purposes. Um, outside of that, uh, actually the two of them together would be pretty cool on a heroes team. I guess they need to, they need to make a category for posing. I guess you know, have like Joke, Jocko, the, the Ginyu Force. The Ginyu Force actually has to get good members <laughs> um, for cards because they haven't had a good card in a very long time. And LR Ginyu never graced uh, the global side, but she's pretty legit. Uh, outside of that, I think that's all the basic ones I want to talk about. Now we're gonna go into the Goku and the Tapions. So we have the Goku over here. This is the base form. It's a base form Goku, Monkey King. Uh, you can feed in any of the SRs that you want into him. I would say get the SRs from pulling on banners. Z awaken them to SSR for your 50% chance, then feed that into him. You could also do it from the actual event. So he Doken awakens actually with a Frieza medals, uh, the Frieza pods. And that's going to be available from like the epic battle event. It's the first event you ever do in game where you get this uh, base form Goku. So you can get this base form Goku, Z awaken him to an SR for like a 5% chance if you want to do that. The chances of you getting up to Super Attack 10 and doing that is ridiculously low, but you can if you want to do that grind. I don't recommend it. It's really just like a troll of the community to say something like that. So I would recommend actually just, you know, getting the SRs from here and Z awakening them and feeding him. Anyway, once you feed him in, Doken awaken him. He Doken awakens with 10 of those metals, so go ahead and grind him out if you haven't done so already. He Doken Awakens is his TUR form, another base form Goku. Still a legit unit, really like him. Doken Awakens with 21 Harutagon medals, 21 Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku medals, and 7 of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku medals, this uh, agility one. Uh, so that should be pretty legit. I can't wait to see what this event is like. Once you Doken Awaken him, he Doken Awakens into this beautiful LR Goku, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This is such beautiful artwork. I love it. I really do. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. Um, where are we over here? So it looks like this is going to be, uh, at the beginning of the turn, well, let's talk about his leader ability. He is going to be key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100% for super tech types, and extreme tech types are going to be key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70% up. Um, he does, let's see, gigantic damage or colossal damage greatly reduces the defense of the enemy, and when he gets his 18 plus key, he does mega colossal, rare chance to stun the enemy. His passive skill, at the beginning of the turn, defense plus 120%. During his special, attack at 18 key, um, attack plus 180% up, and defense minus 70% up. So, that's legit. So, he's going to be doing a lot of freaking damage. He's a pretty, pretty legit unit. Uh, let's see, SSJ3, SSJ3. <laughs> um, I'm looking for him over here on the red. I actually just had it up, so I apologize for this. Uh, 12 key does Colossal lowers defense. Pass with the start of turn. Attack was 180%. Yeah, okay, so it's not at 18 key. I, I apologize about that. At the start of the turn, it's attack plus 180% up and defense plus 120% up. On super, his defense goes down by 70%. So that's what's going on with him. He's a legit unit, though. I really like this. So, such nice artwork. Um, anyway, next one is going to be the Agility Tapion. Now, this Tapion is Giant Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50% up, and Agility Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50% up. Uh, 150 for the Giants. So a Giant is, it's all the Great Apes. And what are the Great Apes? It's all these guys, plus you also have uh, Piccolo and uh, Bergamo. So you have them because they do transform as well. So that's pretty freaking legit. It's also really cool because now you have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that can be thrown into this team since he is an Agility unit. So you could go and you can take like, you know, Vegeta or um, this guy over here who is his Borg, not Borg, is Tora. Tora, who is a freaking pretty awesome unit because he has Saiyan Pride and Saiyan Roar. He links very well to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I'm pretty sure this Vegeta does too, but he is an extreme type. That's why I never used him before. But he will link with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta now, which is awesome. Vegeta finally has a decent team. I think that stinks is that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta doesn't get the benefit of the actual full leader ability from Tapion. He only gets the 50, uh, HP attack and defense plus 50% up. But regardless, he's a cool unit. His passive skill is going to be reduce incoming damage by 50%. When HP is 50% or above, he receives an additional 150% attack buff um, and 50% of defense buff. When his HP is 50% or below, he has a chance to transform into Rudagon once per battle only. He does immense damage and lowers attack. And his only real, I guess, relevant link skills are said to be Revival, Transform, and Super Fierce Battle. But he also has Hero, which uh, is kind of whack. Um, he has uh, Brain Faction, which is Brainiacs. Which you actually have some decent units over here with that. 
Um, you have LR Piccolo, and LR Piccolo also has... Uh, where are you? He has Brainiacs, and I believe he has Hero? No, there, there's another one in here that he had. Um, but regardless, oh, Resurrection is, is available to Resurrection. Yeah, Resurrection is actually pretty good. Um, so, oh, Experienced Fighters. Yeah, so Experienced Fighters and Brain Faction LR Piccolo have. So he'll actually link pretty decently with LR Piccolo if they happen to be on the same team. I don't really know a team that you could run both of them on, but, you know, LR Piccolo has some good link skills. Plus, I mean, this guy does have a lot of awesome links as it is. But, um, yeah, that's him. That's when he... Actually, the stats that I gave you is when he Doken Awakens. So, that's his Doken Awakens stats. But that card art is freaking legit. Tapion with Harutagon right in the background. It's so cool. I really like it. But, um, yeah, guys. I will be doing a full review of all the cards once we actually get more information out. I didn't want to make this a very long video because I don't have everything. And me trying to translate things from Japanese using Google Translate, it's just horrible. And I wouldn't want to watch me. So I know some of you probably wouldn't want to watch me do those translations. So I'm just going to wait for the official stuff to come out. But um, anyway, guys, that's it. I will be doing a whole... Well, now that this is all released and the amount of sheer cards that have come out with this, I will be doing a hell of a lot of team building videos. So uh, in terms of team building, I'll probably going to do the Super Saiyan 3 LR Goku in his own video. Uh, another video I'll probably do is going to be the, the two the two Tapions. Um, and I guess, well, Minosa, I'm not going to throw really on there. I'm going to throw the two Tapions onto one video. Um, and then I will probably do the Great Sam Man 1 and 2 on their own video. So I'll have at least three videos coming up for you for team building. So consider subscribing if you're new, if you want to see stuff like that. But, um, anyway, guys. Oh, the, also the, uh, the, the Technic, uh, Tapion. I forgot about him. So there's three Tapions. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this was informative. I hope this helped you guys out. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.